Hi everybody, this is Bev Gray. Today I get to share a whole bunch of projects featuring the bow and Beatrice the Beaver stamps and dies. Our creative team has been pretty busy and they've got a bunch of ideas that I think you can use for your own projects. I hope you find some ideas you can use. In this project, Allison stamped the cute little beaver and just colored him a normal sort of brown color. And then she used two of the phrases just on that white front panel. But the thing that she did I think that is really cool is she used the stick from that stamp set stamped it in the background and then used that to make her own patterned background paper. Instead of using the stick to make a background, Emily used a pile of logs and then she used some of the candles from a different stamp set to make it look like it's a birthday cake pile of logs. And then she used both the beavers that are die cut out on the front of her cart to finish that project. Now another thing you can do is you can stamp and color those logs and die cut them out then die cut out the beaver and make the beaver look like he's standing on top of a pile of logs, of die cut logs. And then on this card, Emily did another cool thing where she took this, uh, the hat from our sweater weather stamp set and put it on top of that little beaver's head. Jill stamped three of the beavers and then die cut them out and then stacked them on top of each other like cheerleaders to make a pyramid. I thought that was a pretty cool way to fill the, the space on the front of a card. Jill didn't even use any of the beavers at all. Instead, she just stamped and die cut out a pile of logs and then the little snail and put those on, front, on the front of her card. So you don't even have to use the cute little critter. You can just use all the cute little accessory stamps. On this project, the beaver, the log, the stick, the flower, and the snail are all used from the Bow and Beatrice, the beaver stamps and dies. But some of the other animal house collection stamps and dies are in here too. The turtle is from the turtle trio, and then the, the deer is from the Danny the Deer stamp set, along with that little dragonfly. So we really tried to size these so that they can all play together on one card, so you can use a mix of animal house stamps and dies. This project is called a shadow box card, and it has so much interesting stuff going on. And what Allison did was she stamped the logs, some twigs, and one of the beavers, and then she colored all of them and die cut them out. And then she used different types of adhesive that has sort of different dimension to it to make the elements look like they're in front of or behind of some of the other elements. So it really looks like it has some depth in this card. I hope you've enjoyed seeing all of these project ideas and that you've found some ideas you can use on your own projects. Thanks so much for watching.